wondering why your electricity bill is so high this month and despite the fact that the Karnataka government has announced 200 units free power to all households this June if you see your bill it has spiked for some people it's almost double well here at News 18 we will break it down for you and simplify as to why your bill for electricity for your home is high in June and over the next few months it will also reduce so here is the breakdown but before that let's talk about the scheme that the Karnataka government led by the Congress has implemented which is called the Griha Jyoti scheme. Now, the Griha Jyoti scheme is basically providing 200 units free power to all households. That means households that account for nearly around 2400 units in a year, an average will be taken and that those houses will get a bill which will basically say nil. But these are for people who consume less than 200 units. But the implementation also will take place and so when we're looking at this background of this particular scheme, when you're talking about free power, how does your bill come so high? Well, it's simple. There are two major factors in this. And the major factors being, number one, is that the Karnataka Electricity Regulatory Commission, that is a KERC, has revised its tariff. Now, this tariff was revised on May 12th. And why May 12th is because Karnataka went to elections and the election code of conduct was in place. And so till May 10th, no decision could be made and the notification came out on May 12th. Remember that the uh, Sidrama led Congress government was sworn in on May 20th. Now, this order that was passed said that the revised tariff will increase the electricity charges or the energy charges by 70, pa 70 paise per unit. Now, this is one of the reasons. So the bills in June will see a retrospective effect of this particular revised tariff, which is being collected from April. Now, if you understand, that means from April to June with retrospective effect, you're seeing a 75, 70 paisa more uh, increased tariff in your bill. This is one of this. The second one is also the fuel and power purchase cost adjustment or the FPPCA notification, which came in December. Now, this is a charge that is brought in by the center. Now, this charge basically is also about how much of fuel and, and power that has been purchased by the country. And the center had told all states across the country that this charge should be taken directly from the consumer. Now, uh, though when, when this was brought into effect from January, uh, a lot of the states said that if you increase it and especially collect it around 1.06 paise to per unit to be collected will be very heavy, especially in terms of charges for people and residents as well. So for Karnataka for that matter also, they requested the KERC, being the Karnataka Electricity Regulatory Commission, that six months time be given for this implementation. And that reduced the burden and brought it down to around 59 paisa per unit. Now this is that additional charge. So 70 paise, that is an increased that we see per unit from the KERC notification and with retrospective effect plus 59 paise that is coming from the FEPCA which is also being collected. Now put together that is why in the month of June that they are actually seeing an increased uh, bill charges that is coming to you on your bills. But let me tell you that there is a lot of relief that is coming in the next few months. And that is because this is all being collected in retrospective effect, right? So from July and August onwards, BESCOM and the Electricity Department and the Karnataka Power Department has, Ministry has been telling us that this will reduce and there will be flat charges as well. And as the months increase, some of them will also get into the negative. Now, let me explain to you one quick thing. There were three slabs initially in, when in Karnataka to, uh, in terms of how the rates uh, were being made. And these three slabs basically included those consuming uh, between 0 to 50 units. Now they will be, they were charged 4.75 per unit. Those who were consuming between 50 to 100 units, they were being charged 5.15 per unit. Now those who are consuming over 100 units were being charged around 7.15. Now all this has been removed and they've come down to just two slabs under the KERC. Both the slabs mean number one, 0 to 100 and they will be charged 4.75 rupees per, uh, per unit and those consuming above 100 units will have a flat 7 rupees. So now onwards, say July, August, September, October, your bills will now see more of a standardized billing. And this billing will also not have any additional charges because like I said, all the arrears also have been collected. So here, simply put, what you saw in your June bill is 
arrears being collected and something that is being uh, spiked that is being seen which is now being corrected and rectified finally the good part is some of the bills now after the griha jyoti scheme kicks in which will be june july august onwards those who are consuming less than 200 units will get a bill that says nil or zero so looking forward to all those people who can actually uh, avail these schemes because a lot of people from the, in the bpl category also looking forward for such kind of uh, facilities and for such kind of uh, schemes that the government puts to help them get uh, to help them in their households as well so clearly this i hope this news 18 explainer also explains to you about why your bills are so high and you can expect some good news where your bills are either much much lesser or some of them like you see in karnataka will also see zero charges. Doni Swami in Bengaluru for CNN News 18.